let us try to understand a new term, a new phenomena that is called magnetization. We will presently see uh, there are so many different types of materials which, which have their own, own nature or, or we may induce some magnetization, uh, magnetic field into that or, or, or so many different things can be done. And <clears throat> the material that was available on the earth that is different thing and we have ourselves been manufacturing so many alloys which, which suit a particular application. But to understand that, before that we would like to understand this term called magnetization. Okay. We have seen earlier that an electron that revolves around an atom acts actually like a current moving in a loop and any current that moves in the loop gives me, gives me magnetic field, fine. So that gives me magnetic field. <clears throat> now, now that is what I say is the magnetic so, so that acts like a magnetic dipole moment because I have got a, I have got a loop. So I have got an A and I have a corresponding I depending on the time period of rotation of the electron, fine. And, and we have, we have uh, in the fourth chapter, we have derived that. What is the, what does it look like and what is, what is Bohr magneton and what is, what is the magnetic moment due to? due to an electron that revolves around an atom. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> these small magnetic moments due to the individual atoms may add up to give you a net value, okay, to give you a net value. So, <clears throat> so in, in individual atoms, in individual atoms we have we have a dipole moment dipole moment due to the due to the movement of the electron around the atom. Okay. This is so because a revolving electron constitutes a current and sweeps an area, sweeps an area. Right? Fine. Now what happens? This dipole moment, this dipole moment of individual atoms, that may sum up to give you a net dipole moment. Fine? The, the, the individual dipole moments the individual dipole moments moments may sum up to give a non vanishing net dipole moment. 
okay now this net dipole moment this net dipole moment per unit volume is what is called magnetization magnetization and it is denoted by capital m <coughs> m is a vector quantity why why because it is the sum of dipole moments and each dipole moment itself is a vector quantity correct so as it is the summation of as it is the summation of individual dipole moments okay so m is is m net per unit volume okay so m magnetization is the sum total of all the dipole moments divided by volume so it is that is the net dipole moment per unit volume what will be the unit of this what is the unit of dipole moment magnetic dipole moment ampere meter square upon ampere meter minus 1 mm what what ampere ampere meter square meter raised to the power minus 1 meter raised to the power minus 1 ampere per meter why per meter m m is m in the it is ampere meter square so wait dipole moment ampere meter magnetic dipole moment is what nia n is the number of turns i is the ampere and a is hmm. oh so you are telling telling it for this okay 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 i told i thought you are telling it for this that divided by meter cube so that becomes actually so so unit becomes equal to ampere per meter ampere per meter that comes from the definitions have you ever wondered that this is tau is equal to m cross b is it not what if i get try to get the unit from here will you get the same unit you should will you get the same unit you should but can you show me how so that means m m unit wise has to be okay unit has to be the unit of tau which is r into f which is newton into meter divided by 1 tesla now what is tesla how do you know the unit of a tesla uh, i mean to say the the dimension of a tes tesla v is equal to qvb sorry uh, f is equal to qvb so b is newton per coulomb per meter meter per second so this goes there so i can write that here so it is newton second and that coulomb goes up and meter goes up so this goes away 
Now coulomb per second is ampere. ampere and in meter square. You should once in a while try to juggle this, right? Because that that then kind of opens so many other doors to understand. Correct. Hmm? So unit of it is ampere per meter. That is how I define magnetization. Okay. That's how I define magnetization. Okay. Hmm? Now, once you understand this, we can go ahead to define the magnetic intensity. 